this presentation, I will be covering the current trend virtual assistant. I will be covering four main points, including a brief overview of its history, the learning environments in which it is currently being used, field examples including advantages of VA use, and issues or pitfalls of this trend. Now, although the concept of virtual assistant seems new, it is actually over 50 years old. Virtual assistants were first introduced in the 1960s by the company Big Blue, or IBM. The technology began as a shoebox that was able to process over 15 words in 10 digits. Several milestones followed that of Big Blue, such as Dragon's launch of the first speech recognition software in 1982, and Microsoft's Clippy User Assistant, Assistant implemented in Microsoft Office. In the early 2000s, virtual assistants that we use till this day were introduced, including Apple Siri, Google's Google Now, Microsoft's Cortana, and Amazon's Alexa. The big leading companies for VAs include Apple, Amazon, and Google. Now I will discuss learning environments in which it is currently being used. Virtual assistants are widely used in many industries, including the teaching industry. They are used effectively in higher education classes as they serve a convenient way to reach desired results in efficient time. In universities, the use of these software is popular as it balances the question and answer processes. Chatbots are commonly used in university settings. Chatbots are computer programs designed to simulate conversation with human users, especially over the internet. Now I'll be discussing the telecommunication industry. In addition to the teaching industry, VAs are a big help when it comes to the telecommunication industry, specifically in customer service. The telecommunication industry receives a large amount of data daily, and when it isn't dealt with properly, customers can get upset. Many companies overlook the importance of looking at customer service as a holistic, consistent process, and therefore receive negative feedback from customers. Virtual assistants ensure that all customers' concerns are recorded through picking up common words or phrases. Now we'll be discussing the healthcare industry. Another industry that depends on the, v the use of VAs is the healthcare industry. Handheld virtual assistants have been used since 1955 in healthcare to access patient information. However, due to limited memory, VAs were not very popular until 10 years later when technology advanced. In the early 2000s, between 26% and 50% of healthcare physicians use VAs as personal organization software to organize and schedule tasks throughout the day. They also use them to access patient information instantaneously. Now I will cover real examples from the teaching, communication, and healthcare industries. Google Dialogflow in University Classes. The study was done at a university using Google Dialogflow as a software to help build students' conversational interfaces. The research aimed to provide students with the most common concepts taught in lessons by ordering information from books and slideshows through using Google Dialogflow and chatbots. Here are a few advantages, including quick responses, the fact that learning is self-paced, the advantage that there is less of a load on a teacher, and it is an around-the-clock instant assistant. Moving on to virtual assistants and telecommunication companies, a study was done by a researcher, Marta Garcia. The results were promising and emphasized the customer loyalty and satisfaction would be ensured by using VAs to facilitate recording data, customer information access. Some advantages included time saving, conveniency, flexible interactions, and around-the-clock service. Firstly, their use of time, their use in time is saving. VAs unify information from different sources without much time or effort. Secondly, they are convenient for a user, as a user can use them regardless of where he or she is at the present moment. Thirdly, they offer flexible interactions, which can mean that they are accessed either through voice or text which is also very convenient. And of course, they offer around-the-clock service. They are available at all times. PACs and PDAs in healthcare industry. A research project which was related to pervasive healthcare by the name of Code Blue was done at Harvard University. The research aimed in having clini clini clinicians uh, use VAs as an aid to manage with emergencies, share data more efficiently, and help in decision-making. Another in another project, a new device in teleradiology 
called Picture Archiving and Communication Systems, or PACS, emerged, facilitating communication with referring physicians and patients. Some advantages include easy da data retrieval, navigational tools, and accessibility. Now, issues related to this trend. Although virtual assistants have become a widespread current trend, there are also issues related to their use and their misuse. There are improper uses of the affordance, whereas people don't know how to properly access a VA. Uh, we have an example of a VA that is uh, not very, not regarded very well, which is uh, Siri, as it does not understand some spoken English. We also have the very infamous Clippy, which is one of the most disliked interfaces ever introduced to the market due to its, uh, due to its uh, interruptions. Google's Allo cannot have two-way conversations and limited options. Most personal VAs can offer limited services, such as only setting reminders and alarms and checking the weather. Also, they can be quite expensive, and if one does not have a consultation whether their business can, should use one or not, it might be a bad idea. Now, in my opinion, I believe virtual assistants have shifted industries for the better. Some advantages can include that they are convenient and relieve employees of tedious, time-consuming tasks. With time, advancements will surely be made and VAs will only be used more and more by industries globally. Thank you for listening to my presentation. And I hope you agree with me that the use of VAs is more convenient than it is inconvenient.